Greetings, 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 greetings to my warriors, to my subscribers, to my CGs, to my family, and my friends. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? Listen, the kid is coming through on a self-care, self-love, sacred Sunday. Happy Sunday. Woo! To talk about the black tarot. First of all, baby, do you see that? You see her hair, you see them beads, you see how she is carrying herself. Listen, out here in nature, in the fields, going to pick up her herbs, her wildflowers, give her gratitude, her offerings, her thanks. Hmm, it could be a Saturday, a Sunday. She just be in peace, doing what she do, baby, doing what she do. I found this deck on The Humble. And first of all, listen, it's a new deck. It dropped on December the 6th, of, I think. And um, first edition. I wasn't feeling the greatest when I saw it. Went to my little bookstore. And baby, listen. Spirit was like, Robin, go into your little bookstore. I shay, I shay. And there it was just sitting there. My bookstore don't normally carry tarot decks. And if they do, it's maybe like three. Period, boo. And that was one of them. So when I saw that it said Black Tarot and I saw her on the front, I instantly picked it up. But before I, you know, confirmed that it was for me, I was like, let me take a look on the back. Because everything was sealed. You couldn't really see anything. Um, on the back, it said, let the spirits guide you. Say less, because that's what I do, child. That's what I do. Awaken ancestral ties and connect to the divine with Black Tarot, a deluxe tarot deck and guidebook set from author Nyasha Williams. Sis, if I'm saying your name wrong, I mean no harm. Ashe, featuring and celebrating exclusively Black figures and imagery. Ashe, this deck this deluxe set includes 78 full-color tarot cards, a 144-page full-color illustrated guidebook, and a keepsake box, Ashe. Illustrated by Kamishka Naidu. And same for you, sis. I mean no harm, Ashe. This is the back of the box. And that's all that I got to see um, when I purchased it. But it was enough for me. Y'all know I'm willing to try anything, willing to take a look into anything, and especially when it's for us, by us, because of us. Yeah, baby, I'm definitely with the shits. Ashe, Ashe. Um, this is the size of the box, the other side, and it comes from RP Studios. Yes, and again, the back of the box. This is the keepsake box. It comes with a tuck box that is on the inside. Mm-hmm. That is the front, the side, the side. And the back. Yes. And those are the suits. Ashe. So I believe that it's baskets, wands, um, coins, and knives, I believe. We'll take a look. <laughs> uh, before we even get into the cards, I wanted to read a, poor, a part of the guidebook. It looks just like the boxes or something you can put on your bookshelf, baby. Yes. The inside of the book looks like the inside of the box. Ashe. Ashe. Uh, we have the copyright, which is 2022, first edition. Yes. Uh, she gives her gratitude uh, for my ancestors and spirit guides um, who are continuously paving the way. Mm-hmm. As well as her husband, her family, her friends, as well as her circle. Ashe. We got the content, deck story, understanding the tarot, black tarot deck and guidebook, spreads preparing for reading card meanings about the author about the illustrator ashe the deck story is the part that i wanted to uh to, to speak on to make sure that is verbally said out loud ashe ashe i have been interested in tarot astrology and magic from the moment i was able to read chapter books harry potter Ella Enchanted and Arnitra's Fowl were favorites on my bookshelf. I have always dreamed of being a mermaid. Girl, me too. Ever since Splash. Thank you. <laughs> so it's no surprise that water is my element. I like to believe that my ancestors, who were ripped from their homeland and shackled as cargo to a boat who didn't make it to who didn't make it ashore, transformed in their final breath to merfolk. Gaining the power of the very element that swallowed them whole. Ashe. My spirituality has developed and evolved through unlearning and learning, decolonizing my mind and spirituality. 
I have been learning to embrace traditional spiritual practices that were taken from black indigenous people of color communities, tribes, and groups. Many of our long established spiritual practices have been demonized through colonization, the media, Hollywood, white supremacy, and under the guise of Christianity. Come through, sis. Come all the way through. Yes. We have significant work to do as a world to untrain ourselves, our minds, actions, and habits from the lies and propaganda we have been fed for generations by those who currently hold power at the top. When I started with tarot, I believed that my answers came from my subconscious or my shadow self. Now that I have connected and aligned with my ancestors and spirit guides, I know that any reading I'm doing, be it for myself or others, comprises a message, guidance, and wisdom coming directly from them. Your ancestors and spirit guides are always ready and willing to lead and protect you. You only have to ask. When I first began tarot, understanding and reading the cards took time. In wanting to strengthen and enhance communication between my guides and me, creating my own deck with imagery that resonated with me seemed like a logical choice. Although I am passionate about divination, there were moments before my work on this deck was complete when I wasn't sure if I was the right person for the job. Baby, one time for the sister. You're the right person for the job every time. You are the right person for the job, sis, every time. I say, I say. Mm hmm. Trying to find my spot. <laughs> yes, I felt as though I needed to know and understand more. Thankfully, thankfully, yes. Many of my angels here on earth, my husband especially, encouraged me to carry on with this creative endeavor. And thank you so much, husband, and thank you so much to her angels, because she is vital, she is needed, and this deck is very necessary. Ashe, Ashe. Self-doubt ultimately stems from being a beginner. Both learning and healing takes time, and our journeys are not always linear. Ashe. Tarot is a visual representation of the many cycles of our lifetimes, trials, tribulations, and lessons. I hope that the cards bring you clarity and provide you answers, but if you still feel lost or in need of wisdom, slow down. There are answers all around you once you learn to take your time and pay attention. I wish you... I wish you all the love and peace on your spiritual journey. May you continue to stay grounded in Williams. One time, sis. One time. Yes, I think that that part, it needs to be said out loud. It, it needs to be heard. It needs to be understood. Um, it needs to be expressed more. You know, definitely through tarot. Y'all know, and for those that are new here, um, I feel as though that myself and others put the energy into the ethers for a deck and for others to come just like this. Ashe, Ashe. Uh, there was a lady on YouTube, she was doing her own review, and she must have had some type of feedback or somebody might have asked something about why weren't there any um, black indigenous people of color in her deck. And her response was, if you want to see things like that, create it yourself. Ashe, Ashe. So when I saw that, uh, okay, Miss Lady, all right. And I threw that energy into the ethers because, you know, I can't draw. But for those that can, you have others who will definitely support. Ashe, Ashe. So, yeah, it was a no-brainer for me, um, again, for the black tarot. And let's just take a look into um, the major arcana. Here we have the fool. And I love uh, that it is um, men and women. Ashe, Ashe. Look at that. Hmm. The high priestess in her purple baby doing her dance. She is out there putting in that work. Ashe, Ashe. And not caring any. Thing about what anybody has to say, feel, or, you know, think. Ashe, look at her. Full figured in her yellow. Come through, Empress, come through. 
we have the emperor here and i love this card with his child um pouring the wisdom you know being the disciplinarian setting the tone ashe being very family oriented um and not just being a ruler of um the country or you know its people but being a ruler of yourself being the head of your household setting the tone ashe ashe mm -hmm. i love this hierophant yeah pinky <laughs> mm -hmm. if you're looking for um a good coffee table a good coffee table book um the hats you know take it a look into that there's a whole book in regards to um black women in church with their hats you know that's a very traditional thing of us that is a staple so yeah while we're becoming more diverse it, i feel as though the message also needs to state um or make sure that there is remembrance not to lose ourselves in the the blending of it all ashe ashe oh this is one of my favorites I love her um her outfit. Look at that. Look at her stance, her pose. Hmm. Yeah, because in society, while we're speaking of diversity, there's still a lot of whitewashing going on. There's still a lot of, okay, we're talking about Africa, we're talking about Egypt and the colonization of it, you know, they don't want to acknowledge its roots. You know, you're starting to see the paler skin, the white skin, the the Greek ness of it all and not even in a form of this type of imagery i mean like straight up depictions of someone physical that they you know cropped and put on a card and called her you know all set they've called yimmy ya ashe it's things like that so this is why i feel as though that this deck is vital it is necessary Do not lose sight of yourself. Get to know your spirituality. Get to know um, the practices that come along. And not just from abroad, not just from Africa, but right here in America. Ashe, Ashe. The voodoo, the hoodoo, that is us. Ayi Bobo, Ashe Yo. Yes. I've always wondered, I, I saw um, the voodoo diva. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Um, a video with her and her mate, and he was talking about um, how he was talking about how uh, voodoo and hoodoo and you know our practices um, derived from here, where Christianity, Muslim, you know Islam, and others uh, de derived from um, from Africa, and it always made sense because I couldn't believe and I couldn't figure out. How is it that the continent, uh, the major religions is Christianity and Muslim? It never made quite sense to me. There's a small portion that rocks with the um, ATRs. And if this is supposed to be the birthplace of it, how is it that there's such a small percentage? I've always wondered that. So when I heard, you know, Voodoo Diva and her husband speak on a thing, I was like, that does make sense. Ashe, Ashe. Um, so, yeah. The representation is vital. It is very necessary and it is needed. Look at that. There's a lot of fluidness in this deck. There's a lot of movement. There's a lot of dance. There's a lot of praise. There's a lot of giving your gratitude, Ashe, Ashe. And I love how all of the major arcanas have the moon cycles because it's major changes, major representations that are taking place in your life. Major messages that would affect your life as a whole. Ashe, Ashe. Look at this judgment card. Ugh. And the world. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to just show y'all a few of the minor arcana. I love everything about this deck. I love the way that it feels. Um, this is not a deck that I would recommend uh, riffle shuffling for, but maybe like a hand over or overhand type of shuffling. This is definitely giving me Ogun vibes, Ashe. 
This is giving me all your vibes all day. Ashe. Ashe. Yes. To the tribe that can hold its breath underwater, they've learned to adjust and adapt uh, to their climate and their culture. Ashe. Mm. And she is the segue to this deck also comes with a tarot journal, the Ancestral Illumination, a guided journal for Black Tarot. Did you listen? Yeah, and I found this out on The Humble as well while trying to get more information because um, I like to open up my packages and things when I get home, clean, cleanse, and consecrate. So I was looking on um, Amazon just to see if I can see any more pictures, and I came across the uh, journal. So, yeah, this is the deck that I'll be working with in 2023 uh, for myself and when I do my readings. Mm-hmm. There was a card in here. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Mom um, with her baby, Ashe, Ashe. This sister is on. She's the daughter of Baskets. That is the cover. Black love. And speaking of diversity, you know, it's really nice to see all in, you know, exclusive because in society, we've been seeing a lot of um, blended families. And, and that's fine. And that's not saying nothing against that. But a lot of times when there is black love, they're gay. They're, they're gay. And, and that's fine as well. But where's the representation for uh, the heterosexuals? And please, I'm not, don't come for the kid. <laughs> Let's not even go there. You know, while we're trying to evolve in advance, it seems as though that the energy of some other things must die. You know, like, you can't even really say that you're a, a woman. You can't even really say that you're a black woman. You can't say that you have black love. You know, it's really getting it's really getting a little funky in regards to the things that you can and can't say without offending someone. Well, I feel offended where every time I turn on the TV, I'm seeing, you know, if it's black love, it's two black men. Or if it's black love, it's two black women. That is not the representation of us exclusively. Ashe, Ashe, you do still have some heterosexuals that love each other. Can we, If we're going to, if we're going to do this thing let's do the damn thing and if not then let's stop acting like we are i.e bobo and this is why i feel as though the black tarot is vital ashe ashe yes give your offerings call baby call listen there was one card in here i can't remember taking it back old school getting your hair done ashe Hmm. learning about your culture, your practices, your ATR, studying and practicing. Yes, that's how you get more comfortable with it. And I give gratitude for sister to, to keep going through. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Don't stop. Like Diddy. Can't stop, won't stop. Mm-hmm. I love the muted colors. The tone, the energy is very earthy. It is very much like our culture where, you know, we're dealing in pottery and clays. And and look at this. Hmm. And then that's like I'm giving all praise and still the sun will shine and still I rise, baby. It's still I rise. As opposed to it being done through the back. Not everybody is looking to stab you in the back. Some people are coming full frontal in your face, baby. In your face. I say. Ashe, we do love nature too. Aye, Bobo. Do you see the colors on here? I like the border. And I do appreciate that um, they are faceless. I know it may weird some people out, but for me, I do appreciate that um, because you really then get to see yourself in it you get to see your lawas your odishas your spirit guides in it ashe you get to see your friends your family your enemies and, and and everything else this is the card remember that powerful uh picture we saw um i think it was during the freddie gray trials and you know things like that or any protest ashe ashe and that sister was walking by 
with her sage and, and just smudging the opposition. Smudging the ops, yo. I'm like, listen, very powerful indeed. Let's take one more look at that one because I think that's important. Being who you are, standing up, being strong and brave. And I know, you know, there's a lot of sisters saying, I'm tired of being strong. You know, we get the concept, but you must be mindful of your words. Ashe, Ashe. It is a beautiful thing to be a black woman, to be black and strong. Ayi Bobo, that is the foundation of us. Let's not lose sight of that, Ashe. But I do get it. We are tired of being looked as such and then being boxed in as such. We're tired of being considered um, aggressive. We speak with power because we are power, Ashe. Hmm. We move with grace because we are grace, Ashe. Mm -hmm. huh, what I say? What I say? Huh? Black power, louder. Yeah. Y'all need some Ciroc in y'all life. Play some Ciroc in your life. And like I said, representation is representation. People don't want to see color. Lies. <laughs> you can't help it. <laughs> you can't help it. The point is, is to see the color and understand the thing. Ashe, do you see yourself clearly? I evil bull. Yes. We like to be out in nature. We love nature. We're very nature-based. We're a nature family, you know? We're we're nature, we're, we're culturally, you know, out and about. We love to commune and get together. It's not always, you know, the realities of, what is it, the real lives, the housewives, and all the rest of that stuff. No, sometimes we love to get together. There are some of us that love to get together for sisterhood, for brotherhood, that love to community, want to build ourselves and each other up. Ashe, Ashe. And let's just pick a card and then just see um, the, the energy and the wording of it. All right. We're going with justice. I'll pick one major arcana and one minor arcana. How about that? Justice. And justice, uh, the traits are equality, truth, and the yes or no answer is maybe. Ashe, Ashe. Card description. A scale of justice hold water or life on either side. On one of the sides, a community of individuals work to keep the scales in balance. The collective's goal is to ensure that justice prevails. The justice card is a sign of acting with integrity. Remember, every action has a reaction. Like I said, baby, they speak the energies of me. Every action has a reaction. Ashe, Ashe. So make decisions based in both compassion and logic. What if the justice card, or when the justice card is pulled, it is time to consider do you take responsibility for the choices you've made and the actions you take? What do you consider to be truly just? Do you call on empathy and understanding before making judgment calls? And then it gives you the flower, uh, which is a blue bell, which stands for humility, justice, and consistency. The element is air. The chakra is the heart. The yang, the yang is the truth, law, balance, fairness, thorough evaluation, karma, um, revelation of priorities, consequences, honesty, cause and effect. And the yin is uh, unrelatability, deception, unfairness, karmic retribution, corruption, dishonesty, karmic avoidance, injustice, and reparations. Ashe, Ashe. Yeah, so that's how this deck works. It has like um, yin and yang, the masculine and feminine, the 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 whole of it all. Can't have one without the other. Ayi boo boo. And then let's pull one of the minors. Here we have the two of baskets. Ashe. 
And the way that this guidebook is set up, the uh, port cards have their own little chapter, which I do like. And I also love that this deck is set up as a family, it's family based. Ashe, Ashe. We're looking at the two of baskets here. Here we go. Oh, that's the two of knives. Here we go. <laughs> so each um, each suit starts off like that. Giving you some of the cards. Ashe, Ashe. And the two of baskets. Mutual attraction partnership is the trait. A uh, card description: A couple whole, a couple has platter boxes full of flowers that they are about to transplant into their garden. They have reached the point in their healing journey when a true partnership can grow about, can grab roots. <laughs> Let's read that again. They have reached the point in their healing journey. When a true partnership can grab root and they can start building their life together, both individuals can make solid decisions founded in love. This is what it means to be vulnerable, to be able to give freely and to warmly accept and receive love. You must offer yourself wholly to the relationship and trust your partner to do the same. True intimacy means allowing yourself to truly be seen and knowing you are safe, unadorned. The yang, complete feeling of functional daily life, service, humanity, true partnership, doctor and patient, teacher and student, romantic relationships. The yin is disharmony, broken communication, breakups and tension. The aligning is have a tech-free date today. Mm-hmm. Ashe, Ashe. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the way that it feels um, and how it shuffles. Again, this is like um, thick cardstock. See that? So this is why I wouldn't recommend ruffle shuffling. I mean, you probably could, but let's see. You could, but then it'll bow. And I think, like, over time, um, it'll continue to do that. So, it all depends on um, how you feel about the thing. If you love to riffle shuffle, you can do that. And then you would just give it a little bend back, you know. But I like the, the smoothness of this deck. Yeah, I like that. So this is the Black Tarot. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Again, you can find this deck on Amazon. It is um, definitely worth getting. Ashe, it is definitely worth getting. Um, so yeah, a mass market deck. You don't see that many mass market decks that are exclusive um, to... The culture. Ashe, Ashe. So again, like, comment, subscribe. Check out other videos from other um, YouTubers that are also sharing, promoting, and talking about this deck. Do your reviews on uh, Amazon or wherever you find, you know, that you can leave a review. Do that. Let people know. If we want to see more, if, you know, even on a diverse level, if we want to see more exclusive, if we want to see more diverse, we have to be vocal about that. Ashe, Ashe. So yeah, let's 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 support. And I'm not saying let's only support. I'm saying let's support. The same way we do for others, let's support us as well. We're out here. We out here.